you all for being out today. Thank y'all for coming out. Amen. 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 Now, Asia asked you, were you happy? Yeah. Amen. Are you happy? Yeah. Amen. Okay, okay. Let, let, let me help y'all out because some of y'all ain't smarter than that. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Amen. Okay, let's get, let's get in unison. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you want the world to know it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Amen. 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 Look at Cal, he's still clapping. Yeah. Amen. 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 We want to thank our Facebook audience for being with us today. Uh, we're glad we can get here as much better in person. Hallelujah. Have a yes, beautiful yes. congregation. Amen. You all are seeing them. We all beautiful out there too, but they see y'all sometimes. Oh, Amen. Share this. Get in the comment section. Write something good about us. Good about us. Good about us. We're not all that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Write something good about us. Share it with your neighbor. Amen. 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 Share with your friend. Uh, we thank you. And that this ministry has been a blessing to you. Yeah, because you so. My God. We ask that you so. Yeah. Got some great things coming up and going on right now. Yeah. Yeah. Download together by app. Kingdom Builders Christian Center Church. So in the good ground there. If you want to get rubber get into it, use the cash. You have dollar sign KDCCC 55. And you'll be sowing into good ground. Amen. There's a word from the Lord. Amen. One quick verse. I should say quick verse. One powerful verse. Powerful. Yeah. Oh, Romans. We made it simple for you, Jim. You got a mouth. Look up on the screen. <laughs> Look up on the screen. Romans, the first chapter. Amen. Verse number 17. I'm glad y'all happy. Are you there? Amen. Uh -oh. You're not. I'm reading it anyway. For therein is the righteousness of God, revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Amen. You see it in the presence of God. It is never ironic that God always has a word. Yes. Yep, yep. Yes, it is. And God always confirms his word, the Bible said, with signs follow. Now watch, he gave me a word earlier in the week. I mean, real early in the week. And then I get in Sunday school and here they are. Yeah, yeah. All up in my sermon. The one day we don't want to call y'all all up in my sermon. Yeah. I probably won't get not one amen today. Yeah. But that's all right. You amen all through Sunday school. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you should have been in Sunday school. Yeah. You should get amen. amen. Um, we got to know that we're going to talk about today. Simpler. You read it. From faith to faith. Amen. Amen. You gotta go from faith to faith. Yes, God. And then once you go from faith to faith, then the just shall live by faith. Amen. Because watch this. You say he proved it yesterday. Yeah. Now he proves it today. Yeah. He's gonna prove himself tomorrow. Amen. And the just shall live by faith. Amen. Amen. For what? We're going to learn that today to move from, and I, and I it's intended to bring some things, but I forgot it. But we're going to move from mustard seed faith to great faith. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm going to have that all by myself. Yes, I'm going to get you out of mustard seed faith, yeah. that little bit of faith, yeah. and you get some great faith. Yeah. See, right. Look, what? In order for God to do great things in your life, you must have great yeah. faith. Yeah. Just yeah. that simple. Yeah. Yeah. Just that simple. If you want bigger things, your life, you gotta grow your faith. Yeah, right, right. right. Amen. Yeah, right. For the gospel is a righteousness from God. Amen. And it's revealed in righteousness that the just shall live from faith to faith. Right. We gotta learn as the righteousness of God, we got to learn to live by faith. Yeah. I gotta get this over to you. You can't live by our senses. Yeah, okay. Now come on now. What? Your senses gonna get you. Well, your senses can keep you out of trouble, but you already know if you okay, okay, let me put it like that. Let me slow down, down. Too high. Yeah, anybody ever gave with a piece of their mind? Come on, now be real. Amen. I'm gonna get somebody a piece of my mind. 
Amen. 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 Amen.
can you remember? I can't buy nothing. I can't buy bubble gum. <laughs> And they let you look at the house. Now see yourself in the house. Right. It's not going to be that house. See yourself in the house. Right. You see yourself in the invisible. Right. Hey man, you don't see it yet. Watch this. Now you got to believe the incredible. You know, good boy, you ain't got credit about bubblegum. How you going to pay a house? No? Yeah. But you got to believe my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory, which is also in Christ Jesus. I ain't got to have it. I'll leave somebody with it. All right. All right. That's right. Amen, amen. Now you gotta receive what's the the impossible. Ain't no way in the world that I can see that in building couple of city. I ain't got to see it because it's impossible. Anything too big for me is just right for God. Anytime you believe in God, brought something that's too big for you, it's just right for him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Most of us. We don't question the value of our faith. It's the acquisition of faith that we struggle with. Have you ever watched this long for more faith? Yep. But didn't know how to get it? Right. I'm Amen. glad you hear that. Have you ever wanted to live by faith? Amen. Like those we read about in the Bible, Hebrews 11 and 2. Have you ever said to yourself, I wish I had more faith because I know I would be a better person? Right. Right. Well, right there in the text, in verse 17, Romans 1 and 17, it tells us from faith to faith. Now watch. The only reason anybody in here put a bold faith in there. All right. All right. Okay, okay. Right. Watch this. So bold, for, for y'all to just say this thing, y'all ain't bold yet. Well. But the only reason they got bold of faith because they use their money. Right. Amen. God didn't give them anymore. Right. They just use their money. Yeah. The demand of faith that God gave them, they started exercising. Yeah, yeah. Watch this. We, we went to visit. We went to visit somebody yesterday at a restaurant. Yeah. I hope he ain't here today. He ain't here today. Hey, <laughs> but he would like, he would cut up. I ain't talking about cut, cut. I'm talking about he would rip. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know talk about y'all on sale. <laughs> he been working out. Yeah. Boy, he flexed that gun. Yeah, he did. Yeah, right in front of the lady T, he flexed that gun. <laughs> I mean, he said, and told lady T, feel it. <laughs> and I almost went off. <laughs> lady T, you know she ain't going to be out there. She said, you feel that? <laughs> <laughs> he said, get her right tight, lady. He said, get her right tight, lady. He said, get her right tight, lady. He said, get her right tight, Don't be telling about how would you lift it. <laughs> But they work in their faith or they work in their muscle. It's the same thing in the spirit. You got to work your faith. Yeah. That's how it becomes bigger. Yeah. What are you talking about working your faith? I ain't talking about just exercise. I'm talking about sometimes you got to stand on some things you ain't been standing on. Right. 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 You got to believe God when God says, stay right there. You stay right there. When God says, leave, you leave. Right. Everybody right. can't go with you. Right. I'm preaching better y'all say amen. 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 Have you ever thought that God wasn't going to do it? Amen. So let's talk about faith. The first kind of faith we're talking about, it speaks primarily to saving faith. Yeah, yeah. The second kind of faith I'm going to talk about is the power of giving faith or fruitfulness. Right. If you're in faith, somebody needs to see something. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Watch this. Quit talking about I got faith in God yeah. and never trust God. Yeah. All right, man. Yeah. Let me help you with something. God is not your resource. Right. Amen. Amen. Anything else around you that you get, that's your resource. Yeah. God is your source. Yeah. Yeah. I used to have this said, I got to provide for my family. How am I going to provide for my family? I can't provide for me. Right. So I got to stop looking at God as a resource because he's the source. Yeah. All things begin with him. Yeah. Right. In the beginning, God created. Yeah. In the yeah. beginning. Yeah. Everything yeah. starts with him. Anything you get from that point on is a resource. Yeah. Right. The only reason you're good to me is because God been good to you. Right. 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 God been good. See, you, you ain't good because you want to be good. They just naturally good. No, no. Right. No matter right. naturally good, you naturally evil. Right. That's the Bible. Right. You have to practice being good. Sure you all that sin, shaking and nickel, you, you can't be good. Yep. That's right. You got to work at being good. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You got it? 
And why you got look, you got to work and do not watch it. You got to work and be a good church member. Yeah. Oh Lord, yeah. why do I go there? God, yeah. why you go there? How you gonna get to work two hours on your job and be late for church? Yeah. Oh, all right. You got to work it. You got to work and be a hey, not, the devil just gonna attack you on Sunday. You just let him in on Sunday. Right. Yeah. He attacking you Monday through Saturday. You ain't recognizing. Yeah. Granny got me skating. 
But you skating, boy, you playing basketball and football, that's my meal ticket. He didn't want them legs broke. But right on, take a chance. You got to learn to take a chance. Stop sucking. Yep, yep, yeah. Come, come, listen, you got to tell your spouse, you going to love me. Yeah, 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 yes, you are. You going to love me right. Yep, right. Come, come on, here come faith. Here come faith. Here come faith. Here come faith, women. You got to get out of them cotton socks. Amen. <laughs> that long guy. <laughs> Put on his t-shirt. Okay. Put on his t-shirt. They want to go all the way down to the knee almost. Right. Now when you got it, you didn't have it all the way down anyway. Right. Now, come on, I'm trying to help you. Whatever you do, please don't look down. Don't look down, you're going to give yourself away. The same thing it took to get them gonna be the same thing it take to keep them. Right. Trying to help you with that, y'all. Yeah. That's religious. Stay there. <laughs> so we gotta see that when we learn how to swim, when we learn how to ride a bicycle, when we learn how to skate, all those things were believed that we could do it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Before you rode a bicycle, you never rode a bicycle. Right. Okay. So here it comes. Right, watch this. Here comes. Here comes. Y'all may recognize this scripture. Remember when Jesus uh, was in the boat. And a great storm came up. Yeah. And the disciples, they got scared. Yeah. Okay, okay, here you go. Jesus has told you to do something. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Okay, the word of God has told you to do something. Right, right. man. And you haven't done it yet. Yeah. Amen. Only reason you ain't done it is because you're afraid. Right. Yeah. Now watch. You fearful, and fear cancels out faith. Yeah. 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 You can't have faith and be in fear. Yeah. You can't be in fear and have faith. It cancels it out. But Jesus told them, boy, that they got scared. They went and woke him up. Have you ever, have, 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 have you ever had anybody to bother you when you were showing up resting? Yeah, hey, man. I, I, I mean, you know, it, it's something they could have done themselves, Toya, yeah. but they really bothered you. Yeah. You know, you, that, that was that nap. You know, you don't get that nap but once a day, but you yeah. just wanted that nap right then, and, and here they come. Hey, yeah, man. Now you could have fished you off a long sandwich. Yeah. 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 Go ahead and catch me, get some fire. Get a bag of chips. Yeah. Yeah. Now you've been asking, you ain't been asking. <laughs> you just woke me out of my nap. Jesus said, oh yeah, look, little faith. In other words, you could have took care of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could have took care of this. It didn't, didn't take one today, but must have seen faith. Right. Yeah. Same thing I do, you got to do. Yeah. In other words, sometimes you got to step with what's right up and help me out and help me in now. Sometimes you got to step with what's right in your house. Yeah. Yeah. And you going to sleep on the couch that night. Yeah. Yeah. But you got to step with what's right. right. If you don't step with what's right, devil got your house. Because yeah. he said, I'm going to get the house. I'm going to buy the strong man. Yeah. Yeah. If I can get you not step with what's right, I got the house. That's right. That's right. I got the house. That's right. Cause I'm gonna get the heart and them bad them children. Yeah. Cause I got two bodies. Right. You are what I just wanna keep the peace. No, I ain't going for wrong to right. keep no peace. Right. In this house or my house. Yeah. Amen. 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 You remember when uh, uh 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 the lady had the daughter that was possessed with the demons? Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, why? Yeah. She was a gentile. Right. She was. Uh oh. She was a gentile. And she went to Jesus. You know, when you go to Jesus, you can get stuff. Yeah. She went to Jesus, and Jesus said, What? I ain't here to get no meat to the dog. Right. That's what he said. She called, Jesus called a woman a dog. <laughs> I did not come to give bread to the dog. Right. Yeah. 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 That's all right, Jesus. I ain't going nowhere. I need you to heal my daughter. Yeah. Jesus turned to her son. Good God, girl, you got great faith. Yeah. So your daughter healed. Yeah. Amen. Just because somebody told you no, that's in church. Don't you get mad at leave church. Right. Amen. Amen. Right. Jesus was the church. Right. Told her, no, you're a dog. She didn't call it worse than that. Yeah. But she know what she wanted. Yeah. No, the day don't mean no tomorrow. Yeah. You got to stand right. to get your stuff. Right. Jesus said your faith 
It's got you what you want. Right. Amen. Right, right, right. Amen. So she persisted with it. You remember when Paul wrote to the church of Thessalonica? He said, I thank you because you got faith that is greater in Lord. So you see the transgression, I mean, you see the progression, watch this. It went from little faith to great faith to greatly enlarged faith. You got to always keep pushing from faith to faith. Listen to me and hear me well. I'm going to say it again so you can get it. Stop just going along to get along. Okay, okay, let, let me have you, let me have you. I said, I'm going to go and tell my spouse, no. <laughs> don't, do that. Don't, don't do that, because I ain't said that. <laughs> Pastor said, no, I didn't. You, listen, this is what you got to do. You got to step away, right? Yeah. right. So, come here, honey. Let's, this is not right. You ever been, you ever been in one of them conversations where you really don't know, you ain't got but one little thing to say, but you can't get it in? Mm -hmm. But you got to be persistent until you get it in. Yeah, exactly. Because there's going to be something right to say. Because, listen, the devil comes to steal, steal, steal and destroy. destroy. So he gets in where he can get in. That's right. Now, I ain't calling you the devil, but he'll get in where he can get in. Sometimes when, you don't, when folk listen to you, you got to listen to other folk. Because yeah. right. you never know what you may hear. Right. Okay. So we got to get this and get it lost. Okay. So what? The second kind of faith is a powerful faith, okay? You got to associate yourself who have great faith. Okay? Who got bold faith? Amen. Amen. Okay. Those of you that didn't say amen or got bold faith, you need to be with them. Yeah. Right. If their faith is bold. Okay, what? Well, you don't need to run with everybody. Right. That's, right. That's right. The Bible says the blind can't lead the blind. Right. Why? You both are hit in a ditch. Right. So you need somebody that got right good sense <laughs> to go with you because you ain't got right good sense. Right. Come on now. You need somebody to help you along the way. Amen. Talk to me, somebody. Amen. You, listen, you were not born perfect. Right. Amen. You don't know everything. Amen. You need somebody to help you along the way. Amen. Come on now. Yeah, yeah listen, sometimes you gotta make a you gotta make a, a demand on what you want. Yes, sir. I, I, I heard this conversation one day. It's been a long, long, it ain't on me, so we can say it right now. I heard a congregant say, female, and told it openly to Lady T, you about to make time for me. <laughs> Made it plain, and she kept it. Yeah, no, she told Lady Lady, y'all got y'all time. Don't get on my time. I know it ain't, but she's gonna make him die for me. You gotta put up some demand on some stuff. And what? Lady G had made time for her. On a regular basis. You gotta put a demand on my faith what you want. Right. When did she have the news? That lady G didn't make no time for it. She didn't have no time no way. But now she got time. Yeah. Amen. Romans 1 and 12 said, so You ain't gotta go there. That I may be encouraged together with you while among you, each of us, by the other's faith, both yours and mine. You need to be among people that got like faith. Amen. Y'all so hard. Don't you want more faith? Yeah. Amen. You got to be around faithful people. Right. Sometimes you can't get the faith you want being by yourself. You got to be around people operating in faith. Right, yeah, yeah. How you get that? Well, by faith, girl, I don't know. <laughs> the Lord did. I trusted God. That's what you said. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. You got to tell them that. That's right. Yeah, trust Okay, watch. Building came up out the ground by faith. Amen. Want enough people to put it up. Right, <laughs> right. Come on, want enough money to put it up. Right. But I didn't need the people nor the money. I needed the faith. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Not faith is something hoped for and heaven is a thing not seen. Now I gotta operate on what God told me by faith. Go to the bank, build it up. Yeah. You got it? I gotta trust God because if you start trusting you, 
You're going to let yourself down. Amen. I'm telling you. First Thessalonians 3 and 2, it says, And we sent Timothy, our brother, and God's fellow co-worker, in the gospel of Christ to strengthen and encourage you as to your faith. Listen, you need somebody to talk to you, you can do it. You're going to make it. You need somebody to tell you that. And don't and don't tell them no lie. Well, how I'm gonna make it? I don't know. Just trust God. Yeah, trust God. I just trust God. I don't know how you're gonna make it, but you're gonna make it. Yes. And you gotta stop leaning on everybody else and trust God. Yes. God got big shoulders. Yeah. He don't get tired. Yeah. Amen. Come on now. I, 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 can I help y'all with something? Oh. You ever call anybody? I, I know. I, 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 Sometimes I get up, I, I got a neighbor. He just as good as he want to be. He is, he's good. But he know he works. He know he is. Uh, Mr. Bryce, he come one day. Well, I, man, I was in that closet. I told you, I was in that recline. I was catching it, boy. I was going down I 40, like 40 going west. Sleeping good. Mr. Bryce, did I wake you up? I don't know, Ricky, but I'm sorry I did. <laughs> I didn't know you woke me up. <laughs> Can I do? He know where he know he, everything in my backyard, he know where it is. <laughs> don't think you're gonna steal them out of my yard. <laughs> Ricky gonna catch you. Yeah. He know where everything, I'm gonna use this and other. No, Ricky, I said, Ricky, your time. I said to myself, Ricky, your time is just bad. Cause I ain't gonna get that now back. <laughs> But you gotta understand, some people gonna call you when it's inconvenient for you. Right. But they need your convenient faith. Right. Right. Amen. They need your convenient faith. That's what the Bible says. When they ask you to go a mile, you go two. When they ask you for your cloak, you give them your coat. Okay? Amen. Amen. Often good, watch this. Often good circumstances and best friends. No, no. Often good circumstances. And bad friends equal problems. Come on. Y'all got that? Okay, watch this. You ever been one of those people that befriend somebody and you show up a friend? Yeah. You that type of friend that'll go down with the ship. Yeah. Come on. I mean, you you lawyer, you need that with them. Yeah. But while you going out with the ship, they don't jump ship. Yeah. Yeah. That's not right. And really, it ain't your ship, it's their ship. Yeah. They left you in their ship yeah. to sink. Yeah. Come on. You know, you're on a ship, but you got bad company. Yeah. And on the other hand, bad circumstances and good friends equal victory. Okay. Sometimes when you're going through, some folk can help you through. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes all you need is somebody to talk to. Yeah. Right. Amen. Man, let me help you out if you got a, if you got a significant other or you're in a relationship. Oftentimes, and I'm using my wife for an example. Oftentimes, when my wife want to talk to me, she don't want to ask. She just want me to listen. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. See, no, no. It's all right to listen. Amen. Oftentimes, she already know what to do or how to do it. She just wants you to listen. Right, right. When you mess up at me and you get, you try to give an answer. Yeah. That's when the argument starts. Amen. She want no answer. Amen. Just listen. Yeah. That's the average woman. Right. So sometimes they don't do to say anything. Just listen. Amen. And the less you say, the more get done. Amen. Amen. Are you listening to me? Just listen. We talking about faith still. Amen. Are y'all getting this? Amen. Amen. Now my faith has been enlarged to a greater step about people I've been around. Okay. I've been around people. Ain't no need you tell them they can't do it. They gonna do it. Yeah. And if they don't do it, it ain't because they didn't try. Amen. So watch this. Here's an analogy. If I gave you a gun and didn't give you any bullets, could you shoot it? No, you couldn't. But if I gave you a gun loaded with bullets, could you shoot anything? 
only way you're gonna shoot it unless you shoot it. Right. If you don't get it and shoot it, you can't. How do you know you're gonna hit it? Yeah. If you never shoot it anything, you'll never hit anything. That's right. And if you never shoot, you're bound to miss. Right. Got it? You gotta come forward with that. Amen. Yeah. So we're gonna talk about the third one. Read, you gotta read and embrace God's word. That's gonna make sure right there. First Timothy 4 and 6 that Paul challenged Timothy to be constant, nourished on God's word of faith. Listen, you gotta always read God's word yeah. and then put it in the application. That's right. That's right. How many of you read the Bible? How many, how many of you put into play what you read? Amen. Amen. See, it should have been the house of exploded. Amen. But today you need to read if God said love. Then you need to start. Love it. Amen. You see how simple there? If God said forgive, you need to forgive. Amen. Let me tell you, I don't know now. Forgive. If you and the Bible says you are selfish, you need to be unselfish. Amen. Come on. If the Bible calls you what you are, that's what you are. Yes, okay, watch Okay, I'm going to help you. We'll say something like this sometimes. Now, you know you tell a story. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a liar. Oh, a liar. <laughs> a liar. It doesn't sound storytelling. It doesn't sound joke to a liar. We'll not make it in. And I know you got a big brain. It was just a little white lie. Oh, so you telling me black lies are bad? <laughs> Come on now. A lie of the hour over. I know what you said. Well, I just told half the truth. Half the truth, whole lie. <laughs> you told part of it. Come on now. I'm telling some people today, I believe. So what? When we are first saved, I know y'all been like this. I was like this. When you're first saved and you come to God. Anybody who know when they get first got saved? Before you came to God, you were happy. Man, you was in the Bible that time, you look around, you read that word, that word is good to you, boy. You read it up like Kellogg's Corn Flakes. Boy, you loved it, boy. Then all of a sudden, they got soggy. And you start reading that. And then it tastes as good until you hit a wall. Then you had to run back to the word. Yeah. Then the word refreshed you. I heard what I said today. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. So now you taste them again. Now y'all good to you. Now you're happy. Like a root without a room without a root. Now you so happy. Now you don't know what to do. You don't need nobody to help you be happy. You happy all by yourself. Amen. So our spiritual sisters have to grow again. Amen. They have to grow again. I'm almost through I'm almost out of your hair. What little bit you got. Amen. <laughs> We got to practice prayer and fasting. Y'all remember Matthew 17 when this man had a son possessed by a demon? Right. <laughs> this why you got to stay around people with faith, with bold faith. This man came with his child. You know, when you, listen, when you bring your child somewhere, you want your child healed. Right. Amen. Or you want your child taken care of. Right. Or if you, if you let your, and they don't do that too much, you let your child spend the night with somebody, you trust that they're going to take care of. Right. Amen. So what? This man brings his demon possessed son to the disciples. I ain't probably no point in nobody to the associate pastor. Yeah. To the deacon. Yeah. To the COO. To the CFO. Did I mention the administrator? To the secretary. They couldn't get it done. Right. So they bring it to the big kahuna. Okay. The big kahuna said, Can you believe I can do this? Right. Right. Your child is holy. Okay. Then here come the associate pastor, the deacon. The COO, the administrator, the CFO, the secretary, they running now asking the big kahuna, why couldn't we do this? Big kahuna told us that you ain't put enough time in faith. That's why you ain't praying and fasting. Right. This type come out by doing some more work. Yeah, yeah, okay. You got to have more than that mustard seed faith. You got to spend some time with the Lord. Right, okay. Because I want God to get me when I walk by somebody, my shadow, he'll do. You got to spend some time with God outside of your shadow.
shower. Yeah. Get in a dark place and stay there. Yeah. How you make your shower? Your shower scared of you. Yeah. You got to spend some time fasting and prayer. What am I talking about? I ain't talking about just physical food. Stop fooling with some folk you've been fooling with. Right. That ain't helping you no way. Right. I can't say nothing, but I got you. What you can do till you try. Right. Right. Stop waiting till the last minute to do the stuff you should have done yesterday. Yeah. Okay. Come on now. You got to, some stuff you got to put for a more effort to do it. Listen, just because you pray 15 seconds, back five more to it. Yeah. Come on. You can't pray enough. Right. Right. The Bible said pray in season yeah. and out of season. You got to do that by faith. Okay, watch this. Prayer and fasting. Are y'all listening to me? Prayer and fasting will get you to drive a, a run a devil way. Amen. Amen. Fasting and prayer will cause you to run a devil. Yes, sir. Playing candy crush ain't gonna do it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I ain't trying to make fun of nobody. Keep praying that game and watch you miss heaven. Keep, keep praying. I said, thank you, Lord, this morning. And you said, it took you five seconds to say it, and you've been on it all day. Yeah. It ain't going to help you get no job. They don't know how to be sports. Right. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm done telling you the truth. Right. Facebook ain't going to help you get it. Amen. Right. I, I, yeah, I post on Facebook, but I ain't on Facebook all day. Right. Right. Texting ass out there, Instagram, and chit chat. What is it? Chit chat. Snapchat. Snapchat. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not chatting TikTok. Come on. You know you. <laughs> and you ain't ready to Come on. Come on, come on, come on. You got to learn to pray and fast until something happens. You got to spend enough time in prayer. Now listen, let me help you out. Let me help you out. I very rarely spend a whole in, I, I very rarely spend 60 minutes praying. I said rarely. Yeah. But I pray constant. Right. Yeah, right. All day. Right. And I pray that God show me what it is I need to do after I've been this praying. Because I gotta. Get Mark 11 and say, believe I receive when I pray. I got to believe that when I pray for it, don't come to pass. Now when I go down now, but thank you. Amen. You got it? Amen. We got to constantly take ourselves out of our comfort zone to make ourselves uncomfortable in order to get comfortable. Amen. See, the more faith you got in God, the more time you spend with God, the less time you have worry. The more time you spend with God and have faith in God, the more he gets done for you. You don't have to worry about doing it. See, you spend a lot of time laboring. We all, we found it out this morning. You ought to be resting in God. Right. Amen. 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 You got to have great faith for great problems. So, the fifth thing, you got to remember your past victories. Hebrews 10 and 32 said, but remember the former days when after being enlightened, you endured a great conflict of suffering. So watch. Where my bold faith people at? Amen. Since you've been in bold faith, you still got some troubles. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Since you've been in faith, you've got qualified for Satan to attack you. Yes, sir. Let me help you with that. Whenever Jesus, get, whenever God get ready to make a move, when I say, Amen. he ain't keeping no secrets. Amen. There's about to be a shakening in your life. There's about to be a shakening in kingdom builders, Christians, in a church. If you connected to it, you about to be shook by some shape, form, or fashion, which is going to be a truth. Now watch this. The minute you tell the truth that they came to build not the church, but that they came to build in the records of God, you're going to suffer conflict and some mess going to come up. The minute you what? When God called a meeting in heaven, he didn't have it. He called Satan to the meeting. 
Now, Satan is an accuser of the brethren. You know, like some of y'all. Yeah. Accuse folk of everything you're not doing. Yeah. And when Satan goes to the meeting, he knows not what God's going to do with you. Amen. So you got to get in great faith because God's about to do something in your life that Satan's going to try to avoid. Don't be scared because see, if you're in faith, you're going to win. Yeah. You are going to win. So watch this. God's plan includes Satan. But Satan's plan don't include God. As long as you with God, you win. Amen. Thank you. Thank you for the name, God. Thank you. You got to learn, watch this. To keep a diary or a prayer book. I'm just saying a diary. In other words, you got a smartphone. Anybody got, anybody got a dinosaur like me? I got a whole phone. But it's still smart. <laughs> it's not as smart as some of y'all phones. I know y'all got the iPhone 16. I, I, I don't want that. I'm, I'm trying to learn Android. My phone told me the other day my son was called. I ain't seen no more. What he called? <laughs> Maybe you think about calling. That's how smart my phone is. But your smartphone can record some things that God has done for you. Right. If you put it on there. Yeah. 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 Write down your past pictures that God helped you with. Yeah. Then you can remember what I'm going through now is just for a season. Yeah. Yeah. It ain't gonna last all the way. Yeah. I'm gonna make it through this. Yeah. You gotta tell you gotta keep it like that. Jesus said, this kind goes out by fasting and praying when you remember your past victory. Then you gotta learn, watch it, encourage and believe it that you can face any mountain. So, so watch this. God said, if you're in faith, okay. you will say to this mountain, be removed. Right. Now what? It's not talking about rocks so much. Right. It's talking about troubles in your life. Amen. You got to learn to talk to your troubles and don't be talking to girlfriend and boyfriend who's not in faith. They all they going to do is throw rocks on your mountain. Right. Amen. You got to talk to somebody that got some mountain moving faith. Help me say that this mountain be going and cast into the sea and it got to get up and go. Amen. Stop telling your problems how much you hate them and tell them how big your God is. Amen. God is bigger than any mountain. Come on. If he made the mountain, he's bigger than any mountain. Okay? David remembered his past, he said, when God increased his faith with a greater challenge. Watch this. Sometimes you can be doing the right thing, and I'm almost out. And you can be doing the right thing, and trouble comes. Yeah. Okay, I'll go over here. Sometimes you can be doing the right thing, and trouble comes. Amen. But still, God is still fine. You got to ask God what you should do. What? David went out to fight a war. He had to went out to fight the enemy. That was against the nation of Israel. Y'all know King David. Yes, sir. He went out to fight a war and won. Yeah. Came back home. The enemy on the other side done coming to come and took everything. Yeah. Now watch this because he went and did the right thing. Now his army mad at him. Yeah. Okay. He goes to God. God should not pursue God said, yes, sir, you're going to pursue and take all back. He went and caught up with him. And the men still mad, but he went and caught up with him. And they overtook him and got everything back, including that stuff. Yeah. When God gets ready to bless you, he's going to set you up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's going to look like it's a failure, but it's going to set up. Yes, sir. For you to get more than what you had. Yeah. Yeah. As I get ready to take my seat, that was this man. That just got in the church. A pastor, let's say. Not just any man. And uh, they needed some things in the church. And he was believing the church to get $500 this way back in the day to get some things they need. His officers told him, said, Pastor, we don't have the money. He said, by faith, I believe we're going to get it. He went on and did some things that was unorthodox to the church. Right. 
He stood for what right and what God told him to do. When all was said and done, uh, they got ready when he got to preaching that day, he got ready to take up offering. Somebody wrote a check. Not for five hundred dollars, but for five thousand dollars. Okay. Put it in the offering tray. Told the man when they get when he put the money in there to Pastor, I don't know why God told me to do it, but I was walking back to church today and somebody told me that God told me to stop in here and write a check for five thousand dollars. I put it in, I don't know what it is I'm supposed to be doing, but I'm going to put it in your tray and here the money right here. Now, now see, God, he would believe in God for 500 when other folk wasn't. Right, right. But God blessed him with 5,000 and up, now they want to spend it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. right. You see, so don't, don't discount what God's going to do. God can make somebody walk in your life today. Yeah. That what you're looking for can come to you today. Yeah. That's why you got to learn to move from faith, faith to faith. To faith. And when you learn to move from faith to faith, your faith will increase. That's yes, God's yes, word yes, yes. for God's people. Yes, yes.